So it's one crutch time. Woohoo! I used to always think that you put one crutch on the same side as the hurt foot. By the way, the shoes, they're just to designate the different feet. This is actually, I've got a brace on in here and this shoe fits. And, and a slip got, on. Yeah, well, it's got, um, it's bigger for me and it's got my memory foam in it. So I, I'm starting to put pressure on it. But anyway, and this is a regular shoe that'll help me not skid. But I used to think you put it on the same foot and you did this. I'm not gonna do that because you actually put a lot more pressure on it. I've seen people with canes do this with the same foot. Maybe that's helpful, maybe it's not, I don't know. But what we've been taught, and this is what you can see um, through a lot of tutorials, is put it on the opposite side so that you're leaning away from it. You really should have a crutch that's right up under your armpit, but I don't like that rubbing me and my arm's strong enough to hold me up. So I actually hold myself up without needing it up under my armpit. But you want to have your crutch up under your armpit and then you want to go with the same foot because you, you can see like I'm doing, I'm leaning off of it. Really, I need to have it at an angle off of my foot like this. So it's more like this. And then you take your next step. And so anyway, with that foot and it puts minimal pressure on it. The little thing that I want to add is having a memory foam shoe that's real thick Holy mackerel, if you can get a slip on like that, when you start, it really takes the pressure, especially if you have damage on the bottom of this part of your foot like I do. So anyways, I'm getting off crutches in a week or in a few days, hopefully, and I want to show you guys the way to do it. It's like this. Okay, so, can you show us a little jig? A little jig? Like, what do you mean? I don't know, can you do a one crutch yeah. dance? Ah. <laughs> That's it. Ah, ah. Oh.